G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we celebrate 500 subscribers. So what have I been up to? I've been restoring this World War II Blitz. So it started out, was supposed to be just a quick coat of paint, brakes done and a rewire, but it's turned into a full restoration, nut and bolt stripped down. Um, that's my mate's truck and I've done a deal with him so I'm obligated to finish it, which is no big deal. But I need to get this monkey off my back so I can get onto my other stuff. That's just a repair that I've done. I've um, done that this morning actually. Been making new floor panels for it and all sorts of stuff. The body wasn't too bad, but a fair bit of rust in uh, some hard to get places. But the body is pretty much done. Well, I've got one more piece to do, which is to repair the rust in this new screen frame. It doesn't look too bad, but it's quite fitted and very thin, so I'm gonna replace this half. That's today's job, and then, yeah, today the goal is to have all the bodywork finished and we can start working on basically painting things because it's mechanically really good. Yeah, but as far as my other stuff goes, I can't really do too much till I finish this thing, but I have been mucking around with it. I've got the old coupe stripped down and um, piecing out for everything. I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do here. And I've got the new coupe kind of half dummied up on a chassis in the back shed. And um, I'm still working out which way I'm going here. I'm about 80% of the way worked out what I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, exciting times. I'm excited about this build. I'm excited about all of them. But this, is, um, this is going to be a bit special, this one. Jeep's disassembled at the moment because the other job's are taking priority. But, as soon as I sort my shed out, which will be hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I shall have the Jeep all done up again. I'll work three of them, I guess, after the World War II truck's finished. As far as forging goes, I haven't lit up for quite a while since the last video I made, and um, I just really haven't had the time. And this kind of has been a place where Dodge has been hanging out. You can hear Dodge. Dodge! What's going on mate? Winter fleece has started, these little horns are starting to grow. And uh, he's become quite the friendly little guy. Hey mate. Hey. Oh, that was a good scratch. Apparently that's not good to do to rams because they think it's uh, an act of aggression. But um, bring it on Dodge, I'm the boss of you. So I had full intentions to do the warped blacksmith challenge this month and um, the challenge was to make some outdoor cooking utensils or whatever and I did have a plan in mind um, but I just haven't had a chance and it's the 30th today and I'm back at work tomorrow so I'm not going to get the chance. Hey Tuan, is um, good intentions worth an entry? This is a bit warped this one so maybe I'll hashtag it. I'm still going to eventually make it so what I want to do is make a bracket here with a hook that swings out that I can swing into the fire so I can have a pot on it or a tray and cook with it. So that's the intentions and that's my entry for the Warp Blacksmith Challenge. Sorry. So once again, thank you to my subscribers. 500 blows my mind. And um, I just want to leave you with a word from my sponsor. It's the dude in the videos, my sponsor, not the product. Yeah, and just a forewarning, if you're new to this channel, I don't apologise for my warped sense of humour. And if you're familiar with the channel, I don't you'd expect anything less. Are you irregular? Paul is. And that's why he can't show his face on television. But when Paul's feeling a little bit full, he uses Metamucil. Metamucil's got what Paul needs to keep him feeling lighter and more active. Lots of fibre and it goes down fast. If you're blocked up, try some of this stuff.